The increasing cost of health care is making it harder for the needy to get medical treatment, but there's a project that is providing hope for those that can't afford to see a doctor. WXVT Cheyenne Malone has more from Greenville. Project Hope is providing health solutions worldwide, and they want to help people in the Delta. And they are in 37 different countries um, across the world and decided that they wanted to do something um, at home in the United States. And so our suggestion was that they come do it in the Delta. There are people that are suffering from hypertension, diabetes, asthma. Their lives can be a little bit better. They can be healthier uh, thanks to the Delta Health Alliance and its collaboration with Project Hope. Corporate sponsors are visiting clinics in the Delta to see how they can contribute. It's our hope that these uh, corporations who are already engaged in Mississippi they can play an even greater role in partnership with the Delta Health Alliance. Even though Project Hope is at the beginning stages in the Delta, they're already changing lives. I had a patient come in today that needed diabetic strips to test their blood. Well, they walked out of here with no charge to them, strips, and do you know how that made him feel? He was just like a weight had been lifted from his shoulders. Offering us volunteer, um, volunteer help to help with the issues and also offering us financial assistance with the issues that we have in the Delta. So what they're offering to do here is a little bit different than what they do around the world. The two organizations want to help people help themselves. There are many areas of the U.S. and around the world that have these kinds of needs. But that's not the question. The question is, what do we do about it? And that's why we're here. In Greenville, Cheyenne Malone, WXVT, Delta News. The group also toured health care facilities in Jackson, Yazoo City, Indianola, and the Delta State University Nursing School.